Hello students, in this video we are going to see about an engineering marvel which was done by our forefathers somehow uh, 6 to 700 years ago. Unit 6, Lesson 11, Beedar's Ancient Waterworks. There are 7 basic human needs according to the scholar Maslow. They are air, water, food, shelter, safety, sleep and clothing. So here water is the second basic human need. Let's see some sources of water. Well, rain, and stream, then river, lakes, and in modern times, uh, we get water through taps supplied by the municipal authorities. Okay, apart from these sources, uh, in olden days, uh, there was a wonderful system. What is that? the Curry's system. What do you mean by Curry's system? Let's see that. It was a wonderful system. In the areas like uh, terrains, uh, the Curry's would be formed. How the waterbed under the earth uh, would be identified then the mother well the first one would be dug then uh, in addition to the mother well many more air shafts would also be dug uh, then the mother well and the air shafts would be connected through a very big tunnel and at the end the water would drips out. Let's see another picture. Ah, here with the, you could see the cross-sectional view of a curry system. Here the number one is the mother well and two is air shafts those are uh, number two also uh, uh, wells uh, but they are called as uh, air shafts in order to uh, let the air get into the tunnel and number three is the main tunnel and number four is the surface tunnel uh, then number five the storage pond uh, number six the settlement area and the number seven uh, irrigated land okay like this uh, uh, the curry system would be there let's see another uh, picture also so in this uh, uh, these blue color lines show the water bed and this uh, Karis uh, system is arranged there and the greenish area is the irrigated land. Yes. One of the largest problems that the world is currently facing is the acute shortage of water. With the rise in global warming and increased drought-like conditions. Okay, we shall read uh, this promising report about the revival of uh, an ancient water work. Let's see. The vast Open lines bordering 
bit of city in Karnataka take the brunt of the sun as it beats down on a terrain marked by few trees. But in the northwest of the city, in Nobod village, as one descends the six meter wide mouth of a medieval aqueduct, there is a welcome drop in temperature. Here, about 25 feet below ground, is cool and softly flowing water clear as a crystal unless your feet disturb the dense red sediment so in the uh, bidor city in karnataka we could see this uh, uh, wonderful system curry system uh, the ancient uh, water uh, supplying system it was uh, uh, below the ground 25 feet below the ground we could see uh, here is an idiom used bear the brunt of something this idiom means to, means to suffer most as a result of a problem or difficult situation here it refers to the land being subjected to the sun's burning heat Okay, so uh, in Bidar we could see this wonderful uh, uh, engineering mobile. Yes, in this picture uh, we could see some uh, examples of uh, terrains, how a terrain would be. So uh, Bidar also at terrain of the area you could see the mouth of that curry system now but curry system so under the ground uh, 25 feet we could see this uh, curry system lies uh, below the ground okay so we could see the crystal clear water there 15 meters into the tunnel a 63 feet high shaft opens to the sky as i said earlier uh, the air shafts also there the light from here casts shadows on the inky darkness further ahead where the water is deep enough to drown a man. Uh, see how uh, the water uh, below that is uh, deep enough to drown a man. Such a uh, deep water okay, is there. And seven years ago, when V. Govindan Kuti, a professor of geography, at the government college of Chichu in Palakkad, Kerala, first saw a trickle of water here. He did not realize that he had stumbled on an engineering marvel built nearly 600 years ago. A series of almost 57 linearly placed Vents connecting 2.58 kilometer long subterranean tunnel meant to transport uh, water from a perennial mother well. This was the historic Kares system. This <coughs> Kares system uh, found in Bidar was actually. Uh, made uh, or built somehow uh, 600 years ago uh, it was the uh, efforts of Mr. Govindan Kuti a professor of geography uh, from the government college of Chitur in Palkad, Kerala 
okay he uh, had uh, found this uh, uh, wonderful system uh, which was done by our forefathers uh, somehow uh, 600 years ago though so the uh, water uh, is there because of a perennial mother well what do you mean by perennial uh, uh, throughout the year uh, we could get the water the water will, will not be dried out okay uh, this was the historic karis system okay we I mean this uh, uh, picture given uh, uh, we could see the inside view of the karis system okay let's continue here uh, is a uh, uh, literary term uh, the simile the water the purity is of water is the uh, compared with the clarity of a crystal crystal clear water below 225 feet yes can we shall continue uh, in this picture uh, we could see the cross section of a curve system and aerial view also so the mother well is there uh, and next to that the air shafts okay and all these wells are connected with the main tunnel a uh, main tunnel is there so from the uh, water bed uh, the water joins in the main tunnel and at the end uh, the water brims out and used for irrigation okay let's continue the curves persian mean meaning underground channels originated in ancient iran and is a system of collecting transporting storing and distributing groundwater in arid areas with very little water lost to evaporation uh see uh, here we could see uh, there are uh, more water is evaporated in rivers and streams uh, in uh, sea uh, also but in this wonderful system curved system uh, the water uh, the uh, evaporation chances are very less because uh, it flows under the ground let's continue the first curdises in india were built in bidar likely with the help of persian engineers during the bomani sultanate in the 15th and 16th centuries here is a historical note about the, the bomani rulers bidar was uh, discovered uh, because of water ahmed shah bomani a 15th century ruler of bidar was on his way from birar to gulbarga when he chanced upon a bamboo grove his platoon of parched soldiers asked a shepherd where they could find water the lad pointed to some stones nearby the soldiers removed the stones there to discover what later became the mouth of the sukla teeth curries we could see <coughs> about uh, uh, the bomani uh, sultanate the bomani sultanate was an independent muslim kingdom in the deccan plateau the rulers claimed to descend from bomani a mythological 
figure from Iran in uh, 1425. The capital of Bamni King Kingdom shifted from Gulbarka to Bidar. The kingdom was uh, ultimately defeated by Krishna Devaraya, the ruler of uh, the neighboring kingdom of Vijayanagar. Okay, so in this passage, uh, uh, we had seen that uh, uh, when uh, the king Ahmed Shah Bamni was on his way from Bira to Gulbarka, uh, the parched soldiers uh, asked for water from a shepherd. Uh, the shepherd had pointed to some stones nearby and uh, the soldiers removed the stones and found the water. Okay. The now bird carries uh, near Bidor is likely to have been constructed during his reign. In the 1480s, uh, it was meant to serve as a water source for a settlement that was uh, never completed. Uh, leaving the abandoned quarries to fill with debris. Okay, it was uh, constructed during that a uh, year, uh, 1480. Uh, somehow, it was uh, incomplete. So, uh, what the uh, what happened? The people uh, filled the uh, quarries uh, with uh, lots of uh, wastages. Here with uh, you could see the Indian map uh, which uh, shows the Bomini Sultanate. Okay, uh, there were uh, uh, Devagiri, Biror, Borangal, Golgonda, and Raichur, Bijapur, Gulbarka, and Bidar. Okay. Let's continue. So uh, here uh, uh, we could see the palace of the uh, Bomini Sultans uh, and the city and the picture of uh, Ahmad Shah Bomini and his tomb. The Karis system can be seen in other parts of India too. Like Aurangabad in Maharashtra, the Karis still serves parts of its municipal water network despite neglect. So, uh, it's a wonderful uh, example uh, in Maharashtra. Uh, the Karis system still uh, serves uh, part of its municipal water okay and the numbered Kadiz is the first of very few known curry systems in India to be documented scientifically and restored in Bidar the water that now flows in the curries or aqueduct is the result of a couple of years challenging restoration work. So it was the uh, great uh, uh, restoration work done by uh, uh, Mr. Govindan Kuti and uh, <coughs> not only of the aqueduct but also of its uh, Baudis and Kalyanis. Baudis and Kalyanis means open wells and tanks that make up the highly evolved and networked water system. The restoration project was started by uh, the Bidar District Administration under the MNREGA program along with the traditional water diviner Kanjambu. It was done under the then Deputy Commissioner of Bidar District, 
மிஸ்டர் அனுராக் திவாரி ஓகே இட் வாஸ் அ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் எஃபர்ட் டன் பை தம் அபவுட் நைன்டி எயிட் ஏக்கர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபோம் லேண்ட் ஆர் நவ் இரிகேட்டட் பை த கரிஸ் so we could imagine how the ancient water world is helping even in these modern times about 98 acres of farm land are now irrigated by the garage and nearby neighborhoods turn to it for their water supply this is a boon for the state which frequently faces droughts okay bidor uh, as a semi arid area uh, it will not get uh, any rain throughout the year okay so uh, the uh, uh, area would face uh, droughts uh, often but now this one is like a boon for them semi arid bidor receives 60 to 100 cm of rainfall annually its terrain is composed of honeycomb structured laterite uh, which means uh, a hard but porous soil that can absorb rainwater when forested with the right vegetation below which lies the basalt of the decon trap that does not allow what is collected to percolate away okay so uh, the area is uh, it is composed of a honeycomb structured laterite okay the soil uh, very hard but very porous Uh, soil uh, which can uh, absorb rain water um, and uh, below that the uh, basalt of the decon trap is also there uh, which uh, does not allow what is collected to dry away okay here with uh, we could see a person uh, holding a rod uh, that is used in order to find the water tap water table below the ground in modern times uh, uh, people use these modern equipments to find out the water water a uh, uh, water bed uh, or water tables uh lies below the ground level okay let's continue uh the soil it's a honeycomb uh i have shown the honeycomb for your uh idea how would be the soil it would be hard porous soil in pedor city okay let's continue so uh, it's a terrain area also in the terrain area uh, this kind of a system is arranged since his first excursion mr govindan kutti has marked 814 bodies and colonies along the three keris systems he has mapped around bidor the nobat keris the 6 km long sukla tirth which begins at a lake to provide water by terracotta pipes for a village and the 1.37 km long jamna mori these are the three keris system uh systems found by mr govindan kutti and this was uh, probably a water distribution system from 
Bidar's fort Fateh Darwaza to the moat of the royal enclosure now buried under urbanization okay in olden times uh, uh, there would be a moat around play a palace okay uh, and in the moat the water will be filled and uh, the crocodiles uh, would be uh, living in those moats in order to avoid uh, uh, the enemies uh, uh, entering into the palace very easily uh, which was uh, also were destroyed uh, due to urbanization nowadays uh, in 2015 uh, the numbered curries uh, was in use for the first time in centuries a monitoring team recorded uh, water pouring out of its mouth at 120 liters per minute though it was dry in a few months the restorers used the months that followed to continue with the diesel tank so uh, it was recorded as the water pouring out of its mouth is 120 liters per minute okay and nature handed them an unexpected turning point there had been a deficit in the rainfall in the region since 2012 and in the summer of 2016 for the first time in living memory most of the beaders bodies and colonies ran dry when this happened, people took the carriage and the bodies seriously. So, when there was a need only, the people would work. When this happened, people took the carriage and bodies seriously. It was easier to generate awareness about them. The crisis became an opportunity. It's a wonderful phrase okay as a necessity is the mother of invention the crisis became an opportunity for the people of a bead or uh, it was it was uh, said by mr vinay malgi a civil contractor who co-founded bead or yuva yuva means Youth United for Vigilance, Awareness and Action with his friends in 2011. So, he had found a, a wonderful uh, a, a team of people uh, named as a Yuva, Youth United for Vigilance, Awareness and Action with his friends okay let's continue here with the uh, you could see the picture of a diesel thing a yeah, water bed uh, yeah, river um, or uh, some pond okay diesel thing methods how the people are doing this uh, diesel thing, the cleaning of uh, uh, vestiges uh, from the water. Okay. And uh, these are the terracotta pipes uh, used in Bidar city to transport the water. Uh, and uh, uh, the kalyanis and bodies, the water tanks and the wells, step wells. Okay, we could see the kalyanis and bodies here. Okay, let's continue. Beaders, Evo activists carried forward Govindan Kuti's work egging on local authorities 
to undertake the desilting and cleaning of wells as part of mg n or ega projects uh, mg n or ega projects uh, is the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act uh, which provides a uh, 100 days of guaranteed employment in rural areas uh, in rural areas such kind of uh, projects are done uh, in addition to livelihood the scheme provides for the building of infrastructures like uh, roads canals and wells also they also protested these uh, yuva activists uh, they carried forward uh, govindan kutti's uh, work and uh, to undertake uh, the desilting and cleaning of wells and also protested against the encroachment of watershed uh, lands and setting up of uh, tuber uh, uh, deeper uh, tube wells also Uh, that have caused the water table to drop drastically for this uh, affects the carries which uh, relies on gradients eva has also planted uh, over 1 lakh trees so that uh, rain water doesn't run off uh, before it can be absorbed and created awareness uh, Uh, to prevent the dumping of garbage along the curry system so uh, y- these uh, eva activists they ha- are doing uh, their own best to uh, give the good water supply from the curries then in september 2016 the weather god smiled the skies opened up and the nowbird carries several irrigation reservoirs and many restored colonies have not run dry since they have got enough rain here with uh, uh, you could see the mg n r e g a program how the uh, program is going on and how the people are working they are uh, uh, in the process of uh, uh, cleaning the water beds mainly okay understanding the structure of the curries govindan kutti has mapped over 28 events of the nowbird curries since he started he would make fortnightly trips from palakkad to bidar with modest personal funds in the beginning he had little to go by besides the presence of fig and jamun trees and certain shrubs as indicators of water nearby often alone the 43 year old climbed down four story deep vents tied to a rope and even took several bruising falls down bramble and boulders okay brambles other shrubs prickly shrubs and also boulders the small stones okay he had uh, uh, several bruising falls over them okay that was a uh, uh, very uh, toughest uh, decision okay using google earth images and gps aided mobile apps he created the there is geographic information system which he eventually
plans to make public okay uh, so google earth is a computer program that gives a three dimensional view of the planet earth based on images from satellites and gps or global positioning system is a satellite navigation system that one can use to find the position of any place on the globe the tunnel wells of uh, nobud unlike traditional water systems don't transport water from a higher level to a lower one the mother well is uh, at a lower height while the mouth is at higher level the tunnel itself is not a perfect slope there are depressions in between the vents where the water is stored to ensure the erosion doesn't take place govindan said so it's a wonderful thing water from a lower level uh, comes to the higher level and uh, we could see the google earth and gps uh, systems uh, pictures uh, and the boulders uh, the prickly shrubs brambles okay so uh, by falling down uh, mr govindan kutti had a bridging falls th- on these uh, boulders and uh, bramble uh, and by using a uh, google earth and mm-hmm. mobile apps he had found this uh, wonderful system which uh, uh, helps the people in a very big uh, manner okay this means uh, the water rises with uh, each depression it fills moving forward slowly before brimming at the end so uh, as i said earlier uh, this system uh, in this nobard curry system uh, it connects the water from lower level to higher one the professor can recall inching forward on his stomach over some sections of the tunnel i knew the roof wouldn't collapse only the walls might slide he laughed okay the road ahead as they continue to work uh, their way underground from the mouth to the mother well govindan kutti's efforts and the top local volunteers have made 16 vents accessible okay they had uh, made 16 uh, vents accessible the curry system is endangered by plans of a proposed ring road the road bifurcates the second of the two agricultural zones that used to be fed by the curries okay it was uh, uh, the bad effect of the urbanization okay due to urbanization uh, uh, the uh, municipal authorities uh, the government authorities they um, uh, are arranging uh, uh, for new roads and uh, uh, buildings everything uh, but uh, due to the uh uh this uh, urbanization uh, uh we would lose uh, many of uh, uh, historical importance okay the ring road uh, bifurcates the second of two agri- agricultural zones uh, that used to be fed by the curries new roads connecting the ring road to bidar town pass through the surrounding grasslands under uh, uh, they were already under the threat with the loss of uh, 
indigenous tree spe species are like a uh, neem tamarind and jujube okay rapid urban development is also causing the unique uh, laterite plateau to erode okay this was the urbanization uh, uh, due to this uh, urban development uh, we would lose uh, these kind of a uh, laterite uh, uh, unique laterite plateau to erode the tank in the nanax zero okay uh, the cross sectional uh, view of uh, this uh, norbert curry system uh, we had uh, seen uh, enough earlier itself uh, okay let's continue uh, the nanax zero is a uh, sacred to uh, six is now cemented on all sides and the cords of small springs leading to it altered beyond recognition so uh, the nanak zira uh, it was a uh, uh, sacred to the sick people uh, it is a uh, uh, perfectly cemented in all the sides and the uh, path or the cords of uh, small springs leading to it uh, also altered uh, beyond recognition okay a railway line cuts through the catchment area of the nobot embankment what do you mean by catchment the area in which the water, rain water collects okay uh, the uh, water would be collected uh, in this catchment area for that uh, nobot uh, carries which lies directly above water movement channels the water warriors to have faced uh, many obstacles malgi said people's behavior is the most difficult challenge we clean and desilt water returns and everyone benefits but the minute we go forward garbage is dumped again this is a bad behavior of the people okay uh, they should understand uh, that uh, the system is a uh, uh, what a wonderful system which would give a good water supply and they should not dump the garbage in this uh, wonderful system in 2016 there wasn't a drop of water in the 117 acre Vilaspur tank to the north west of Bidar after desilting it was transformed into a beautiful expanse of water welcoming migratory birds okay so uh, it is a um, uh, with the hard efforts uh, only uh, uh, we could get good water okay so uh, the vilaspur tank uh, um, was in northwest of bidar uh, it was dumped with garbage and uh, many more uh, shrubs okay they had desilted that after desilting it was transformed into a wonderful uh, expanse of uh, water uh, which is welcoming the migratory birds the jas ki bawdi a 114 feet uh, deep well uh, in the old city that had 86 feet of silt in it was also full of water after a massive cleaning program okay so 86 feet of silt uh, they had cleaned the 86 feet of silt and which turned the 
ஜஹாஸ் கி பாவுடி ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபோர்டீன் ஃபீட் டீப் வெல்ல இந்த ஓல்டு சிட்டி இஸ் ஃபுல் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் ஆஃப்டர் ஏ மேசிவ் கிளீனிங் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஓகே டுடே த ஆன்டிக் லேண்ட் வெயிட்ஸ் பேஷியன்ட்லி திஸ் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் அ பர்சானிஃபிகேஷன் வேர் த ஆன்டிக் லேண்ட் ஹேஸ் பீன் இமேஜின்ட் அஸ் அ பர்சன் who is patiently waiting for something okay the land is compared to a human being caught tracks have left uh, today the antic lane the waits patiently caught tracks have left furrows on the plateau all the way to balki 24 kilometers abi separated by disused step wells every kilometer or so okay so there were uh, many step wells also found uh, in every kilometer were parched wayfarers and drought animals must have be must have quenched their thirst centuries ago okay so those uh, water bodies uh, uh, would have helped the people and animal uh, as many centuries ago a family still lives in here by a disused brick clean and cow shed they share their freshly plucked pulpy mangoes with warm hospitality the nobod carries flowing beneath their land is a blessing okay so uh, there was a family uh, the a family lives there uh, in a, a disused brick lane and a cow shed they Uh, welcome they sh- uh, had shown their hospitality good hospitality to govindan kutti and his team of people uh, the now but there is uh, flowing beneath their land is a blessing okay and uh, four winds lie within their property there, so th- there were uh, the, the, the there is uh, there are uh, four vents are lying under their uh, property they are happy to allow restorers to access them okay it's a, a good character of the people uh, who are living there they welcome the uh, govindan kutti uh, mr govindan kutti and his team and they allow the restorers to access uh, the vents which are lying uh, through uh, uh, their property and uh, as i said earlier there are four vents lie within their property okay so they are happy to welcome uh, these people and the restorers uh, to access the vents okay uh, such a good kind of people also there okay so we have to save this uh, wonderful engineering marvel built somehow uh, 6 to 700 years ago we could see the step well uh the some of the pictures of a uh, step wells are uh, shown here and this desilting method uh, those uh, uh kalyanis or bodies uh, after desilting they turn into a very good uh, 
source of water nowadays uh, in modern times uh, we could save water we could save the rain water okay uh, it is a modern uh, system found by the people how this system works so uh, uh, from the top floors of uh, the buildings the rain water is collected through pipes and it was saved in tanks and after that uh, they are taken for reuse okay this is a wonderful system and nowadays uh, we are following that so uh, we have to um, uh, encourage such kind of uh, things uh, to save the water okay so we have to save the water and save the life thank you